we're racing to the end. So I'm gonna be first place. Boom. Um, first, I was running second, and this explosion. So we are back with another video on Roblox Studio. So today we're gonna be making a how can you call um so basically it's a winner's GUI or an MVP board with all the players. So we have first place, second place, and third place. For example, if you have a race or something like a racing game and you want you want to you want the players to appear on a GUI text or something like that. So for example the first place you know is like in a golden thingy majingi right and then you have the second place the person in second place and then the person in third place etc so what i made is uh this uh model right here so you can insert this in your game i'm going to leave it in the description so you should insert it in your game now uh this is very basic so you can actually customize it if you want so okay first of all this part you can customize it so this thing you can just like there's a texture here um, actually before we do anything before you do anything uh, make sure you actually put uh, put the stuff in the right uh, locations so you have these two remote events you want this in or you want this in replicated storage uh, same with this frame you want this in replicated storage uh, this star, uh, screen GUI it says to be put in star GUI so make sure you have that and yeah that's all um, so again, you can customize your uh, whatever uh, whatever you uh, want it to be. So we have this texture. You can remove this if you want, and just have this plain uh, plain uh, brick, I guess you can say. And then you can change this to a neon if you want. Um, also for the for uh, for the text layer, you can also um, if you want you can uh, customize this. So if you put this in the screen UI. So this is how it will basically look like. Um, so I'll go in the script later, but right now this is how it looks like. You can change it if you want. So I put some UI corners and UI gradients so you can change if you want. For example, if you want it to be like blue, I guess. If you want it to look blue. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, you get the idea. Um, but you can change that if you want. Uh, so let's put that back in the replicated storage. Um, what you can also do is, so let's say you want to make a round system, right? And actually, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to tell you about that. Want to go over the scripts. So when you put everything in the proper uh, things, let's go over the scripts. So what it does, I put a script inside the part that when you touch it, it will make you. Uh, well, basically, it, will, it acts as a finish line. So let's say this is a finish line. And whenever you touch it, it will tell you what place you're in. Of course, an order, right? Because it puts it in a table. So let's go to the script. Now we defined some variables, so we have this part, get the winners, so this is the, the table that we'll be using to detect which uh, player, uh, like what place each player is in. And then we have the replicated storage, we got the replicated and this cooldown is uh, for the last part, when you want to finish, uh, when you want to remove all the GUI text, right. Um, so first thing, we got the part.touchConnect. Uh, so when a player touches the part, and uh, the player uh the player that touched it so if hit dot parent which is the whatever hit it if it's a character we can get the character or we can get the player from the character and if it is a player that hit the uh if it is a player that hit the part we'll make that uh, we'll make an if statement for that and then we'll make uh another if statement here embedded uh, this will detect if there's no winners yet in the table. So if there is no winners, we will insert the player inside the table, which is in the winners table right here. Uh, otherwise, if it isn't, if there is already winners, now we have to make sure that also when you t when the player touches it, it doesn't also it doesn't only touches it once. So like you can you can be the same player, but it can touch the pl uh, can touch the part like multiple times. So we have to check if the player is already in the table, the winners table. So this basically uh, shows, so if, it, if the player is equal to V, which is the value in the table, I always break from the for loop so it doesn't add duplicate uh, like duplicate values for the player. So we'll only have one player uh, in the table. And if, so basically this, uh, what it does, it checks if there's, if the player isn't in the table yet, and then we'll add him, uh, uh, add him or her in the table. All right, so that's it for the thing. 
and of course we will do the actually uh, this is the uh, remote event that will be uh, firing and this will basically uh, do the special part which is the GUI thingy so this will be on the client so we have the uh, local script for this which is in start GUI so we find some variables right here so we have replicate storage and then you have the one uh, re uh, remote event, the finished remote event, that's for later, uh, and the label. So this is the label that we're using, that I showed you guys. Uh, so this is the, the uh, what's it called again? There, yeah. When it, the remote event is fired, uh, yeah, when the remote event is fired, I'll come here. So now we have the, uh, the, the frame, which is the label. We can we just call it label, um, but we're gonna clone that. So the player would be the uh, last uh, or the last value of, or the last index of the, uh, the winner's table uh, because that's kind of how it works. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if you, can't, if you understand that, but basically that's how it, that's how it goes. Um, we get the user ID of the player. Uh, the label, uh, so the label text. So the label uh, has, this is the label basically when it clones. You have the name right here, and the text will be the player's name. And then you got the avatar is the image, so the image will be the player's uh, th uh, thumbnail. And then we use uh, get user thumbnail as sync. So we got the first parameters user ID, uh, enum thumbnail uh, uh, thumbnail type and headshot. And then we can also do e uh, enum thumbnail size uh, 420 by 420. You can change this if you want. So if you erase this, dot uh, there's after bust avatar thumbnail headshot. I just shows headshot. And say for the size, but I mean, you might as well do 420 by 420 because that's the best quality there is. Uh, then you parent it to the the starter view, a uh, screen UI, sorry. And this if statement, uh, these cases are just for like first place, second place, and third place. So for the first place, I just decided to make it like golden. Second place, I just decided to make it like kind of silverish, and third place kind of brownish, uh, bronze, I guess. And then this is just tweens the label to the position. Now you can change the position to wherever you want. So the position, what I did is 0 0.9, so it's more on the left of the screen. Uh, yeah, the left of the screen. And okay, 0, 0 0.6, and then, uh, so 0 0.6 is like below, uh, on the, sorry, vertically, on the y-axis. So it's more below, uh, below the first half, I guess, or the, yeah. But you got that, it's on the, it's on the lower side of the screen. And I did plus number of winners, so number of winners are, that there are in the table times 0 0.06 basically what this does is whenever a so you have this frame right here right you clone it and you put in the screen UI so every time it it's cloned we want the position to always change because when you have more than one winner because you, you you don't want the same GUI to be in the same exact position right or the a different uh, the different players their GUI would be in different positions correct so you have the first one here, and then the second one would be right below it, and the third one would be also below the second one, and the fourth one below the third one, etc. So that's basically what it does, this math equation. Uh, so you got enum e easing direction out, enum dot easing style elastic, uh, 0 0.5. Now you can change this too. So you can do dot sign, or just all, all of these. Uh, I just chose elastic because it's nice. Uh, 0 0.5, that's the amount, uh, the amount of time between the tweens or for the tweens, uh, false, uh, that's for the rebound, I guess it's, I think it's called rebound. Okay, and that's for the first part. Now for the second part, uh, of course you don't want the, you don't want the leaderboard, uh, the, the GUI to stay forever. You probably won't want that. So let's say you have a round system, right? And you want it to, I guess like every time you only want it to show when the round has ended or maybe like a few seconds after the round has ended. So you can make a case for that. Uh, okay, let's put this back here. So in the same script, uh, probably not the best way. Uh, I mean, you probably don't want to put this in a script. You might want to put this in a separate script, but I mean, I just made it just for it to be simpler, um, but whatever. So what I just, what I just did, uh, I just made a wait. So after the first person, touches the after the first winner touches the thing uh it will then uh it will then count down like 10 10 seconds and then it will start to uh start to remove all the gui text from the screen 
so what I just did is I restarted the winners. Winners is basically uh, there's no winners anymore after that 10 seconds. And then I made another remote event for that. So you have the finished, so the, uh, the finished right here. This is the remote event. So when it's fired, it goes all through, uh, through all the labels. It streams them out the screen. So basically, you kind of see them tween outside the screen, and then it'll be destroyed. So it'll get removed. Um, actually, there's probably a better way to do this. Um, you might want to put this in a separate script. I'm just saying uh, this, and it, but you might keep the remote event though. You might keep the remote event. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's all I think. So we can then test this out and see how it goes. Okay, so now we are with our buddies, Mr. L Bunny right here, and uh, another dude right here named Explorer. Uh, he looks like a caveman, but whatever. So we're gonna test this out. So this is like an obby right now. We're racing to the end. So I'm gonna be first place. Boom. Um, first, L Bunny second, and this Explorer dude is third. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it for the tutorial. Looks pretty cool. If you want more, comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe most importantly, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And we're gonna jump off.